the chemistry is amazing. We're going to talk about it, but I'm, I'm very excited that you're here. I'm going to be so cool. I might look at him more often just because you um, I think she's frightened me in the most cry. amazing she's ways. Cry. Yes, yes. No, I'm going to keep it's it okay. together. No, no, it's okay. It's, just I'm so you nice. Do it's your thing. You are nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> frightened like that. Just like, you know. It's I'll like, just be, I'm fine. No, no. <laughs> well, we met. So, same thing. Big no, fan. No, but we I'm met not. before, so I'm a, little, I'm a little less nervous about it. I'm a lot nervous about this one. Okay. <laughs> when did y'all meet? Did you meet before the film? Uh, it's it's a matter of conjecture. We yeah, don't we know. Don't, we don't agree on how we. You met. don't agree. <laughs> yeah. How do you think you met? I I believe we met in a um, airport lounge. No. No. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> Hard no. Where did you meet? In an elevator in a hotel. Oh my god, that's so different. That's right. No. So different. Maybe it was an elevator in an airport. Yeah. <laughs> These characters that we play in the movie disagree about everything too. That's true. Yes. <laughs> like everything in the past that they don't remember the same way. But that's what I find yeah. interesting, yes. Like vantage point and like point of view. Yeah, like exactly. I, I find that very yeah. interesting. So you're stuck in an airport this whole time. Yes. Yes. We, get, we rerouted and uh, we get stuck in uh, one night we're snowed in. <laughs> and we haven't seen each other in 20 years or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Which is awkward. Well, we have some <laughs> unresolved things. Yeah. Yes. A few. Yeah, a few. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I watched it and I was like, oh man, this is so layered. Um, so wait, if you, if you were trapped though with a co-star like that you've worked with before, who would you, you can't pick each other, don't do that. No? Yeah, you have to pick someone else. If you were trapped in an airport, who would you pick? Th that I want to be or that, that I... That you want to, not that you don't want what, to be. What kind of a movie is it, a horror movie or... Uh... This is a, this is a... No, this is a friend movie. It's a friend. Like, what friend would you want to, yeah? Wait, in real life, who would we want to be? Real life. We were just talking about a Cora star. Leachman. Oh, okay, right Yeah, on. I worked with her briefly. She was a blast. I like that you went for a blast and he went to horror. Yeah. This explains a lot. It tells you something about He's my missing. work experience. Yeah, like, uh, who would you want to be? Uh, maybe Pam Adlon would be fun. Oh, know. my gosh. And I can always count on her to do most of the talking. Okay. <laughs> well, you might want to be stuck with me then, because I'm a talker, so <laughs> I will talk your head off. Um, so eight years off, right, from doing like films and stuff. Yeah. Like, so yeah. why that? I l I appreciate that because even in the music world, it's nice to have a break. Yeah, from, right. Like, I didn't try. Life. I just yeah. I basically just been hanging around. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like talking talking to my friends, raising my kids, like I know, redecorating. But that's the important thing yeah. too, though. Yeah. yeah. And then during COVID, the script came to me, and I was like, oh, I've always wanted to write. I've always wanted to write a screenplay. Yeah. So that's what happened. It, it's, you know, it's a movie. Basically, they're locked down in the movie together, and we were locked down at the time. Yeah. And I had all this time to, uh, to write. What a perfect movie to do in the lockdown time. Exactly, right? Because it's really right? y'all. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just I, I mean, yeah. I, think, I think you probably thought, well, you didn't know how long the lockdown was going to last, so Nothing. it was a movie that you could have actually shot during the pandemic. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's just two of us. That's it. That's Except all. for all the people that were actually in the airport. Except for the, the yes, the, the extras. But we're the only ones who talk. They're not extras. No, no. these no. were, it was a working airport. You know, yeah. these were actual people. Like they were real people. Are you serious? Yeah. In fact, I, I recognize yeah. some of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have to say, you're both in rom-coms that are so massively popular that people love and adore. So, but I'm not. Sure. What you? You are. Re Return to me is like one okay. of my favorite. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> so wait, what's your? What's the best time you feel to watch a rom-com? When do you watch? Like it's like sad music. When do you listen to? When you're you know sick. what I'm saying? When you're, when you're getting <laughs> old oh, and being sick. sick. Yes. That's what people tell me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Like when you're recovering and you, you feel like you cracked it and you're uh, on the yeah. on upswing. You need something nice. Yeah. Yes. That's kind. That's when I watch Doris Day. The yes. Yeah, all those yes, old exactly. things. Really? Yeah. yeah just How about you? What, when that's you watch that's what I do. I watch, I watch, well, I watch a real well-known film called Return to Me. <laughs> 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 and you've got mail. <laughs> I watch all those. Yeah. When you want to watch a rom-com, what do you... What uh, mood are you in? Yeah, what mood? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think, here's my honest answer. When I find one, when I'm flipping, flipping, yeah. it's either Goodfellas and people are going to kill each other oh. or it's Rom Com. I could go with that too. Yeah. I get into the equalizer whenever I'm like <laughs> not feeling good and I just want to kick someone's <laughs> ass. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah, um, it well, it's not a rom com, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> this incredibly interesting because I didn't find this out until after I watched the movie, but you weren't initially going to be the lead. No, no. So we tried to get someone then? else and, and uh, she didn't want to be in it. And oh. so then we landed on me and then we landed on David. Okay, right on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, first of all, I, I want a whole back conversation on that off camera, but who says <laughs> no to Meg Ryan? Oh, cool, okay. Um, <laughs> but I'm kind of glad. I think it ends up how it's supposed to end up because I yeah. honestly, after watching it, I was like, I can't picture 
anyone else in that role. It's kind of the point of the movie, actually. Mm. Yeah, you can't picture it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I'll say no more. <laughs> I'll say no more. She's like, I don't want to spoil it, yeah. We shot for 21 days. We only had a, a teeny amount of money. 21 nights. Yeah. Maybe that 18 was the nights. Was that was the, the hard part. The night part. Yeah. That was shot in that minimal yeah. amount of, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's just, well, like we said before, just two people in it. So I yeah. thought it was manageable. When I got this during the COVID, I thought, oh, <laughs> we could, <Yeah. laughs> we could do this. We could figure it out. There's just two, two you know, it's yeah. just a very distilled experience. The, and it does play out like a play. Like, I feel like you could literally watch yeah. this on stage on Broadway. Yeah, initially was a play, but then it was sort of basically re rewritten. But oh. yeah, and we shot in Forced. Arkansas. Yeah. We shot, shot in Northwest Arkansas in yeah. Bentonville, which was fantastic. Yeah. Really fantastic. Arkansas was, is beautiful. We loved yeah. being there. And we shot it in a museum and the real airport. So we combined it because it needed to be a magical But in the movie, yeah, in the movie, you just think we're in the airport and all of a sudden we're in a beautiful airport and yeah. we're like, in a not so beautiful airport. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love that you said magical though because there is a lot of magical realism. Like yeah. there's things that happen that I was kind of like, when I was watching, I was like, wait, what? I was like, because. Yeah. Things are yeah. talking directly at you, even in the trailer, that's kind of given right. away. The environment is a, but you know, I always think of it. I love the idea that there's a, a larger plan. There's a benevolent force out there and it operates on these two idiots who uh, <laughs> <laughs> can't get it straight. And there, it's a, a forever sort of like trying to broker their, like making some peace or getting some clarity or understanding closure. the facts, getting yeah. some closure, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So I noticed that you dedicated it to Nora Efron. Mm -hmm. So what's your, what's your favorite memory of her? That's a great question. I um, uh, she gave great dinner parties, oh, and and they were all and actually I started to understand that like the being on the set with her was the idea was it should feel like a, one of her dinner parties, mm. like you wanted to talk to everybody, you didn't want it to end. There was great conversation, and she had like just pure delight in filmmaking. And she, you know, I, I understand now like you have this quiet little revelation at like five thirty in the morning about how characters talk to each other, and it's just yours, and then. Cut to you're on a set and 150 people are trying to like have opinions about that. Yeah. Trying to make it alive, you know, and that's a really delightful, magical little twit turn. And, mm -hmm. and, and she embraced that. She loved that. I love that. Yeah. And dinner parties, those are exhausting to yeah. throw. <laughs> like, I'm always so tired. I'm always like, I'm never going to do this again. And then I <laughs> do it again, but whatever. You should, you should tell her about uh, getting the dedication on. on yeah, we, the, the, you like the, WG, the WGA, the DGA, the Director's Guild, is very proprietary, rightfully so. Like, the very first thing you see at the end of a movie is, is the directed by credit. And in order to. That's you, the law. It's the law. <laughs> in order to usurp that, you had we had to petition the D the DGA to like these are the reasons why I'd like to dedicate it to Nora, and unanimously they voted yes. Oh wow! Yeah, that was That's very nice. cool. Well, it was a beautiful thing, and it was nice after watching this amazing story of these two people and then seeing that. That was really cool. Yeah. It was a beautiful thing to do. So do people ask you, just because you're in romantic movies, do they ask you for real advice? Sometimes I think people get lost in the fact that you're playing a character and it's not really you. But yeah. do they stop you often and ask for advice? Do they? They don't stop me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't work things out, sometimes things just don't work out. And sometimes there are definite deal breakers. It's time to find out if we tolerate some relationship situations with a game called I'm Sorry, But That's a Deal Breaker. I'm sorry, but that's a deal breaker. <laughs> what would be amazing oh. in life? It would be amazing in life if you really were in this situation and somebody yeah. just came in and sang that. <laughs> Sorry. Her back here. <laughs> and then you just leave. So you save your time. <laughs> anyway, here's how it works. I'm gonna hit the button and a relation this button particularly, and a relationship situation will pop up on the screen. Um, then we'll each have to say if Are it's you a sure deal breaker right for button? us and why. Yeah, I'm totally sure. Right, I'm a great host. Here's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're on a first date and he takes a 10-minute call from his mom. Ben, ben puts you on the phone. That's different for, I feel like, people in the public eye. Have you ever been on it with people and they're like, oh, can you talk to me? And I'm like, is this happening? Because you're in the public eye. Like, you know, they're, they get excited because you're in the I think no matter what, it's a deal breaker. Okay. Hit it. Okay. That 
That's a deal breaker. <laughs> it doesn't Jesse, work. where were you? Doesn't work. <laughs> what, what about <laughs> what about you? Is it a deal breaker? What was the question? <laughs> Maybe you're the guy on the phone. <laughs> Maybe, no, is it, is it, would it be a deal breaker if the person left? I don't know, but left? a good friend of mine, uh, Bart Frondick, wrote a script in which he had a first date and the guy stopped at a porta potty on the way to the dinner and start, and kept talking to the girl while he was inside the porta potty. She was outside? Yeah. And oh. I just thought it was one of the funniest scenes I'd ever read. I don't know but if that's, that's a, a deal, deal breaker. breaker. That... Hit it! I'm sorry, but that's a deal breaker. <laughs> I think that would be a deal breaker for me too. That's weird. I took time to have dinner and you're going off for 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Next one. Okay, okay. He shouts <laughs> He shouts out that's <laughs> He shouts out that's what she said when the minister at your sister's wedding claims the ring doesn't fit. It's too big. Oh my god. That's when you, you know you made the right choice. <laughs> that is not a deal breaker. I'm gonna be honest with you, I know. I think I'm attracted to a different type of person that, <laughs> that I actually would be like, all right, it's a throwback, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a throwback classic, it's but I don't thought, think I would. Not a deal breaker. Thought I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm going home with that one. <laughs> I think I'd have to make a joke. Would, you, would that be a deal breaker? What, no, a joke? Not yeah. a deal or would you ever say that at a wedding? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> But it is well, an opportunity. It's, it's an opportunity that you would miss. I've got a captive audience. <laughs> yeah. I can't resist trying to be funny sometimes. I'm so. just saying. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, on the second date, she invites you up, or he invites you up to her apartment, in which she has, oh, oh. seven cats, 12 rabbits, and a rare Spix McCall named David. <laughs> By the way, I think no you have shown up to my mother's house. I'm like, she has a lot of animals. So I was like, I read that and I was like, did, we, did they visit my mom's? Um, she has a lot of animals. A McCall named David, she'd be a fan. I'd be like, Mrs. Yeah. Clarkson, all right. <laughs> Interesting night. Um, and so what about you? Would it, would it be a deal breaker? It's not a deal breaker. You love animals. I love animals. <laughs> and the McCall name, I, I, can love... see, I can see how it had a certain appeal. I love animals. David is a, yeah. uh, David is a funny name for an animal, though. But think about this, it, so it comes back to the apartment scenario. Like if you're in a house and those are somewhere else, I think I'm fine with it, but an apartment, I grew up in an apartment. No. Oh, it's an apartment, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes. that's an apartment, that's real close. Think about that's it. close quarters. 12 it's rabbits. Cats it's, and that's rabbits. That's like close to 24, Rabbit 36. Rabbit toxic. turns get everywhere. Yeah, yeah. rabbits are rough. Toxic. They roll. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we okay. keep ours outside. Deal breaker. We keep ours outside, that's a deal breaker. Okay, here we go. Okay, he claims that under is the proper way to... <laughs> Are y'all making fun of me? This is, this is my crew making fun of me because I like it to roll over the top. Okay, he claims that under is the proper way to roll the toilet paper and it's a deal breaker for him if you think otherwise. Here's the thing, it's not a deal breaker for me. <laughs> I, I prefer the toilet paper to roll over the top, but I also prefer to have my own bathroom, so I don't really care what his bathroom looks like. Are you an I, under or over? I don't like that he's setting up a deal breaker right away. Yeah. yeah. That's a weird That's, thing. in a way, a deal breaker. That's a character flaw. Yeah. yeah. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you, are you a person, I'm an over. Are you a person that likes it under or over? I don't know that about myself. Um, <laughs> you don't have a preference? No. I'm, I'm a, OCD. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm over. I prefer over. Oh my God, I love you so much. Okay, here we go, one more. Okay, yeah. he reveals to you just before your wedding that he was, oh, that he was taken into an alien spaceship when he was 23 and they'll be back for him in about four years. Is it your wedding to him? I think, well, he's, he's gonna leave maybe in four years, which. Oh. That sounds I good. I know. I'm like, I'm like, I've never tried long distance relationships, but <laughs> seems nice. It's a long commute. It seems like, like you'd get your youth. Easy, time. easy four years. Yeah. Yeah, you're only committing for four years. Exactly. Sign That's me it. up. Yeah. <laughs>
because the other one sounds like jail. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'd say. Anyway, do you know what you'd, would she just go for it? I'd go for it. Well, like the four year part. Uh, yeah, um, I'm into it. I would feel, uh, I feel like I would love to be in a therapy session with you just to, because every question, <laughs> you go big. You go the whole scope of it, man. Yeah. You're a big thinker. I am very literal. <laughs> yeah. In a complimentary way. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean it as a compliment. I, no, I mean like you like think of so much in one question. I'm like, I'm just like, I don't know, would you go to space or not? I'm so like, you're Yale and I'm high school graduate. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the difference. I would love to be in therapy with you. Too. Okay. <laughs> you probably would. You wouldn't have to talk. <laughs> All right. Those are our deal Therapy's breakers. Like, What's the guy's name again? The yeah. game with the. Oh, David. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's here. Um, okay, everybody go see What Happens Later. It's incredible, and it's thought-provoking, which is the best kind of movie. Everyone